Hey everybody, it's Shamika here. Welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, which is a dead giveaway as to what we will be making today, we're going to be recreating one of those beautiful Instagram photo frames that you see all over the internet and on Pinterest. So that's what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be using mainly um, Dollar Tree items, which is amazing. So you know this is going to be super cost effective and beautiful and elegant. So I'm actually decorating a baby shower this coming Saturday. And this is my first time actually decorating an entire event for someone else. I usually do it for myself, for my son's birthday parties and whatnot. But this is my first time going all out. So we are working on a budget, but that does not mean that the event has to look like it was on a budget. So I want to go all out for this mom. She means a lot to me. And it's her first baby and it's a little girl. So we want this to be super, super special. So I want to make a photo frame for her so she can take pictures with her friends and family at the event. And what better way than to do it with the Instagram photo frame? So let's just jump right into the video. Let's get crafting. I'm so excited. Ah. All right, you guys. So here are the items we'll be using. I'm going to be using two of these beautiful stems here. I purchased these from Michaels. They were actually 80% off. So I got them for $1.20 per stem. And it's pretty long. But I'm only going to be using these leaves, which is perfect. I didn't even go in looking for these. It just happens that this is exactly what I needed. And it was at a great price. So I'm going to be using two of these stems all together. If you watch my most recent Dollar Tree haul, then you'll know that I purchased these stickers from Dollar Tree this week. And I'm just realizing now that some stickers are missing. There's a missing D and a missing M. Hmm. But you know what? It's all good because these two letters I actually don't need for this project. So whatever. What's done is done. But these are beautiful and the color scheme works perfectly with the whole theme of the bridal shower of the baby shower i'm sorry so i'm going to be using two of those and i also purchased these clear stickers from dollar tree it's just so so cute and these stems as well i purchased from dollar tree they have little white foam balls at the end so that's going to be beautiful they kind of remind me of baby's breath but i can find the baby's breath so this is the closest thing that i could find and we're also going to be using our gold spray paint, an X-Acto knife, a ruler, and of course, our board. If that would just get into frame. There we go. Perfect. Alrighty, so after I've removed everything from my board, there's a clear board. Okay, so what I'm going to do next is measure out the border because I only need the border. All of this inside stuff can go. So I think I'm going to measure it about three inches from the bottom. So right about here is where I'm going to cut off. So three inches is going to be left for my border. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you what it looks like after it is done. So this is what it looks like when it's done. I'm just gonna zoom in some more just so you can see exactly what I did. So like I said, I measured, I did say I measured three inches, but I actually did a little less. I did two and a half inches from the bottom. So I put my zero mark at the edge of the board and then two and a half inches right there is where I measured for the border. Um, and then everything else that's on the inside of the line is going to be cut out. And then I just drew as straight a line as I could from left to right and top to bottom, all measuring two and a half inches around the perimeter of the board. So now what I'm going to do is just cut along the edge of the board there using my X-Acto knife. So yeah, I'm going to, now that that's focused, I'm going to cut along the edge of the border. And then this part here that's on the inside is all going to go away. And this is what we're going to be spray painting and putting our lettering and our beautiful leaves. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm so sorry. I wish I could show you this, but I am a one woman show. So I'm going to have to do this and then come right back to you. Are you ready to see what it looks like? So here is the border. Can you picture it? Okay. So after I've cut out all of the inside, this is what it looks like. It's actually a pretty good size and it's not perfectly cut, but once I spray paint it, you will be able to, it's going to hide that rough edging. Can you even tell that it's not perfectly cut? So I'm going to go ahead and spray paint it. 
let it dry for about a minute or two and then add all of my lettering and all the stems and then that's it we're going to be done with our instagram frame guys this is so easy and so quick you can do this in under an hour if you're planning an event or you just want like a really cute photo frame for your backdrop or for your instagram photos you can go ahead and make this yourself all right let's continue but first do you believe in magic here's what she looks like without the spray paint and here's what she looks like with the spray paint Oh, 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 guys, this is amazing. So, unfortunately, I did run out of spray paint. I used the spray paint for a previous DIY, which I will link down below. Um, but I only have one coat of the spray paint over this. You can, of course, use several different coats, coats of spray paint, or you can even do multicolored. I thought about that while I was spray painting. You can totally do like the entire color of the rainbow, or you can like split it into two colors, or you can even do an ombre. That would be beautiful as well. Gee, honestly, this is all about your creativity and wherever you want to take this, but I'm going to go plain old Jane and do the, you know, the elegant gold, and we're going to be all right with that. So this is what it looks like, and I think it looks amazing. Even just like this, you can totally do some selfies for Instagram, you know, like, ah. Oh. I made this myself, darling. The next step is to add our stem and the lettering, and then we're complete. Your creativity level is your limit, so I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my stickers and my stems to this beautiful board, and we shall be complete. Oh, yes. All right, you guys, are you ready to see how it turned out? Okay. I know, even my son agrees that it's pretty nice. So like I said, I only did one coat of paint, but as soon as I get another can, I'm just gonna finish up like the top there. But overall, I think it looks really, really cute. It's so elegant, so pretty. And I wanted to go for more of a minimalist look for the frame because there's going to be a lot of decorations and we're also going to be doing a backdrop so this is just going to be a nice little addition to the photos that's going to be taken so i'm going to give you guys a montage just to zoom in show you exactly what i did and how it looks but apart from that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>
branches and then I added some flowers that I had lying around in my home. Um, they're also for $15 each. And this flower, I noticed I thought it was always cherries and they're saying that they're spreading to put out their floral, you know, their floral so you can go ahead and grab some flowers or you can just use anything that you want to do with it. Um, yeah, so just here's a little zoom in again of what it looks like. I absolutely love it. And then like I said, I will be adding some more um, spray paint once I go to Michael's and purchase that. But apart from that, I really like how it looks. So now you have a whole thing that you made yourself in under an hour or 30 minutes if you can work super quickly. And yeah, also you can add glitter to this. You can use Mod, Mod Podge and add some glitter to the um, perimeter if you don't want it to be solid. There's tons and tons of things that you can do to add your own creative touch. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. But first, do you believe in magic? Here's what she looks like without spray paint. Focus! So, and right now they're bringing out their... Ethan, Ethan, Ethan. Shh. Wait, wait, wait one minute. Don't touch anything, okay? Um, um, one time for the grand, two time for the grand. <laughs>